lovely downtown dynasty theater. You feel good? I'm already so drunk and a little high. You look so damn good. Uh, shout out to yourselves. We don't have a Spencer Crittenden tonight. Give him a round of applause, though. He tried. He was here and he had to go, you know? We also don't have a Jeff Davis tonight, but we do have me, the poor man's A Diggs. <laughs> Brandon Johnson, let's get right into it and bring out the mayor of Harmontown. You know how we get down, Dan Harmon! It's not gonna work. I'm not. I'm neither that talented tonight, nor what? What, what are you pointing? What are you pointing the at? Dis, the disappointment. Oh. <laughs> what you think? You think he? You you think he comes here for my rap? I do. I and, do. And you 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 were like I put I got a pocket square like I I I was here for his rapping. No, don't <laughs> don't let him put you on the spot. <laughs> you're disappointed that you're here in general. <laughs> It's a bad neighborhood. It's Monday night. It's t 8 o'clock. Dedicated, man. Dead, dedicated. You guys are dedicated. all statistically more likely to die tonight because <laughs> you didn't stay at home. Was it worth $10? <laughs> it might be worth if, if they gave you $10. Uh, all right, whatever. I, what do I got in my notepad? Let's take a look. Uh, shit. And I, I just, I, I'm sorry tonight. I got a little, I got a little drunker than I, whoa, whoa. I don't usually come in this drunk. What? Unless we have like a special guest. Uh. <laughs> and we have a special guest tonight, but I mean like usually I'm like, like Yardley Smith, I was like, God damn it, Lisa Simpson's coming in. I'm like, blah, blah. <laughs> Norman Lear, I'm like, blah, blah. You know, tonight yeah. I was like, it was an accident. Tonight I'm like, blah. And our guest is going to suffer. All right. <laughs> He's been briefed. <laughs> Here's the thing I'm convinced that I've wanted to talk about forever. One car per green each lane. How is this helping the freeway system? All right. <laughs> I, I uh, you're not confused when you get to that thing and it says, like, the, do, does it seem at all like you're in the hands of an infrastructure? One car per green each lane? Think, what? Think about it like there's a bunch of faucets at a, uh, a trough where everybody's washing their hands, right? So everybody can get in to each faucet and wash their hands. But if some guy or some lovely lady comes over and puts his or her hands in your stream, then there's confusion. So if you can regulate the amount of hands going into each stream, you'll have a smooth flow. I'm gonna put that in a different way, which is, which is that the, someone looks at us like insects uh, from, from above, and they go, well, if we could just figure out a way to slow this spot, and instead of them going, we should do our job better but building that, things. That's, that's, the, that's the good thing. They put a fucking thing that, that says, you guys should intermittently stop. That's dumb. <laughs> that's stupid. And no one obeys it. No one knows what the fuck is going on. It creates tension. It's like, <laughs> welcome to the machine. It's like, 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 like that Pink Floyd song starts like, boom, 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 boom. 
welcome here, dear boy, have a cigar. You get because it's, it's like welcome to the freeway. Like don't fuck it. It feels like like when you're like a freshman in high school. It's like it's like what, there's a sign that says one car per green each lane. You're like everyone's like trying to muscle each other out. Everyone's in a hurry. There's a packed freeway ahead of you, and everyone is just like pulling up to this thing and like looking at each other like. Uh-huh. It just it just brings out the worst in everybody. That's what they always do. They throw the trouble to the wor- to the people who can't deal with it. They didn't know. They, they make it your problem. They didn't know we weren't going to share. The, yeah, no, no, they knew damn well. <laughs> like they they, they just they, they they they're just like, well, just put a fucking thing there for the poor people to like bump up against. Like it'll slow them down. That's all it is. It's like the, 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 it's, I'm telling you, it's like something. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I think my Adderall doctor is getting cracked down on. <laughs> I went to see him snitch today, <laughs> and he was like, uh, he took my blood pressure and he listened to my heart, and then he's like writing the prescription, and he went, uh, "By the way, uh, who gave you the ADD diagnosis?" I was like, "That would be you." <laughs> and he he made this face that was like. Uh. Oh, <laughs> like he was hoping not to hear that. He was hoping to hear Sigmund Freud in 1830. <laughs> uh, 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 absolutely, because then his response was like, ah, "Well, can I give you a questionnaire that the medical board gave me?" What? <laughs> He's like, I like, what? I fully expect next time I go to this doctor, there's going to be boxes in the hallway. Uh, I'm going to drop this questionnaire in the mail to some federal <laughs> oversight committee that's like, I promise I have trouble focusing. <laughs> I'm telling you. We will uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Yeah, but well. that's not that does not sound good. Well, I guarantee you if I go to a professional psychiatrist as he like like I I I I I I'll bet you a million Adderall tablets. Go oh, shit. Okay, this is why. Yeah, that's the, uh, uh, the currency of the future. No, what the fuck? Why do you think I want this prescription? Because I'm like, I'm stockpiling. I don't take nearly as many. This better not get out. I always trick the doctor into going like, well, you need 30 niblets a day or whatever. It's, the answer is 15, and then I slowly build up. It's like a uh, one of those uh, games. Junkie. Like, uh, cl- cl- no, no, it's like Clash of Clans. Junkies don't, no, junkies don't stockpile. How dare you? Oh, great, I'm doing it right. I'm a prepper. I'm, pre- I'm, I'm, I'm going to have I'm the currency of the future. Like, when we're all, like, hip deep in water, and, like, everyone's, like, in ghillie suits, and we're just like... Well, how many bottle caps for that shopping cart? And I'm going to be like, dude, I got the wakey pills. Because no, the best thing to do is stay awake during the apocalypse. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, no, no, the best thing to do is sleep. What do you, I'm out, man. What's your count? Oh, well, yeah, okay. Out. Well, then, yeah. You, I'm dead in the first round. You should be stockpiling carbon monoxide. <laughs> There's things you should be stockpiling. I'm not. That's none of my business. I I intend to go out kicking and screaming. Really? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, no. I'm, I don't care. Planet Earth. I'm gonna say this is the best week we're doing right now with nope. plumbing and fucking air conditioning. Can you imagine what we'll, we'll do when those things are gone? Nope. There'll be no Halloween. I'm gonna do one of those things. <laughs> I'm gonna assure my pets and my fiance. I'm gonna be like, you're right. Let's all go out right now. Uh, it's early Steve Levy. <laughs> Steve Levy. Yeah, round of applause for Steve Levy, ladies and gentlemen. Steve Levy. He took the note. It was like, you know, Jeff called him out. It was like, it seems egregious. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to be one of those controversial guys in oh. the apocalypse. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, yes, let's all take the cyanide tablet together. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hang out. What do, just so, just so I know, what is the thing that's going to make you be like, fuck this, I'm not sticking around. I thought mm, I could. My intestine's getting ripped out. <laughs> By zombie. No, I'm not, I'm telling you, I'm leaving this life under protest. Period. Because I think that's what God will hate. <laughs> I think he designed me for suicide. 
I feel like I feel like I'm like I'm so like you know I'm you. I'm in that I'm in a vocational category of like like you know like I'm supposed to fucking I'm in pain. Uh. <laughs> no, no offense to anyone who feels that way. Or, or, or I, don't, I don't want your last thought to be like Dan Harmon thinks I sound like this. I also want you to talk to someone, etc. But like I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it, man. I'm yeah, man. I'm not doing it. I just, I, you know, and I decided that during my bladder infection. Because I'm like, this hurts. It hurts to pee. Yeah. That'll make you It feels like I gotta pee when I don't have to pee. I'm like, you know what? I'm sticking around. <laughs> All of my predecessors, this is when they checked out. You know, you get a little ache in your thing. Yeah. I'm sticking around. I want to spit in the eye of whatever's left when you've been reduced to nothing. I want to be there for that fucking, like, uh, Uwatu the Watcher fucking Marvel character, <laughs> whatever the thing that shows up goes like, wah, yeah. wah, wah. Yeah. Mo, why are you still alive? Because I wanted to do this. <laughs> Whoa, big shot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna fi- I'm gonna be that like I'm gonna fucking like I want to Vasquez in Aliens with the grenade. I'm gonna be like I want to look at nobody. Uh, if my lover's not left, I'm just gonna like, yeah, hang on to that grenade. That's ballsy. Like, well, that's, it's not you, ballsy. It's kind of it's also sort of a form of cowardice. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna you you can't drag me out of here. I'm not doing it. I, but I'll the, be dead when I'm dead. Plenty of time for that. That shit's dope. Claiming ownership over your your own sort of like. I'm not leaving is dope. Me, on the other hand, bye, motherfucker. (laughs) I'm gone at the first sign of some bullshit. I'm talking about you can't, when you can't get your car, when you can't get your license plate tags, I'm fucking out. (laughs) (laughs) All right, somewhere in the the middle there. All right. Well, you know, I'll feel feel differently tomorrow. Like I said, I came in a little drunk. I'm a little numb to the whole thing. I'm like, I'm bulletproof. I say, give me a blowjob shot. I don't care. I'm a doomsday prepper. Okay, look. uh, Our next guest is an author. Uh, He's got a new book out called It Came From Something Awful. Please welcome Dale Barron. Dale Barron, everybody. Or not. You know, he doesn't have to. Ladies and gentlemen, Dale Barron. There are no wrong answers. Hello, sir. Sit anywhere you like, I think. People might have opinions about it, but I don't. Uh, thank you for getting special drunk for me. Oh, no problem. Yeah. I know I'm not special. But it didn't show, right? You only know because I told you. It's not, you're, you're not like, <laughs> yeah, oh, God. Yeah, it's... no, but I appreciate it. You know. All right, good. <laughs> so I can keep drinking and you won't be like, oh, God, he's... Okay. <laughs> so your book... Yeah. It's about the history of 4chan slash 8chan. Yes, yeah. It goes back to the very beginning. Yeah, it goes from like 2003 when the site 4chan was founded all the way up to now when we're in an alt-right terrorist epidemic uh, that uh, is formed off 8chan until I guess last week when it got cut off. Yeah, so I thought I was writing about something like really irrelevant, but like... Uh, well, the book came out, and I was trying to explain to people. And then, like, I went on vacation, and there were all these horrible shootings. And like, I was on the like at my beach house. Like, no, I don't have a beach house, but I was like at uh, uh, I was I was at a B and B, and like the the owner was like, "Oh, the H N, they just shut it down, right?" Like everyone now knows the sites right. now that it's. Uh, and what? And I hate to be one of these interviews. This is my big pet peeve with interviewers, where they go, "What do you say to the people who say?" <laughs> like, but I, I like because they're just saying like, well, what if I, I like, what do you say to the people who say <laughs> shutting down venues for like, like making it illegal uh, for bad people to convene? Is uh, that uh, go for it, man? <laughs> well, talk, um, what, what do you say to those? people? Yeah, I, I actually agree that H Chan should be shut down. Uh, I spoke to the founder of 8chan who also thinks it should be shut down. That was like one of my sources for the book. He's like, please shut it down. Right? That's... Just picture this middle-aged guy with a comb over. It's like, I just meant for the kids to have a good time. Uh, if only it were like that. It, sh- it was supposed to be twice as like much that. fun as 4chan. That's uh, the point. 
Yeah, no, uh, he's like, yeah, he's uh, like 25, uh, he's a disability, um, uh, he's like three feet tall, uh, and he's in a wheelchair, and he lives in the Philippines, he's a programmer. Jesus, uh, what? Yeah, that's the founder of HN, yeah. Um, and the founder? The founder yeah. of HN, But you say yeah. he's 25 years old, he founded it when he was seven? Yeah, he maybe, he's, uh, he founded it when he was 20, so it's, it's, it started in t- 2013, so I think that's about right, yeah. Uh, yeah, so maybe he's 27 now, yeah. Well, uh, I guess I wanted to headline with the whole, like, kind of like, you, so, but you're, let's, so, so you're in favor after all the research that you've done, you're like, yeah, pull the plug, but in case that gets people's dander up, and I don't mean, if, if it gets your dander up, you may be a person who, like me, when you hear stories about stuff, it's like, I don't know, I tend, to, I always skew towards the, the middle where I'm like, wait, that's not going to help. Like, like don't, don't, you can't make, right. you can't make yeah. microphones illegal because you didn't like what someone said into them. Right. Yeah. That, that's kind of where I started too, where I was like, Oh, it'll just be like the war on terror. And then it'll just spread the fire elsewhere, which does happen. Um, but H N in particular, it, uh, is, it's just so poorly moderated that, the idea that you're going to have a place where you're going to allow all this legal content and no one's going to police it. Um, the internet, it turns out, there it's very hard to run that. Um, there's a lot of people enabling that. Um, and when it's gone, it turns out that most of those shooters are like 19, 20 years old and that they posted stuff like the, Pow- the Poway shooter was like, oh, I've just been here a year and a half. I've learned so much. He's like 19, right? Um, so... It was clear that teenagers are going there, finding the site, getting radicalized by these older losers that have been there for like 10 years and then on 4chan even longer. Um, so if that's broken up and like they go hide in Discord servers or they go hide in weird places, it's going to be a lot harder for those teenagers to find it and, and uh, this to happen. It actually, like, when you deplatform it, uh, when you punch Nazis on the street, they do go away. Does that like solve the Nazi problem? No. Does it so- solve those systemic issues? Does it address those? No. But, but how it does, does that survive? Is it, uh, truly, forgive me in advance for being like this weird like, but what about or whatever guy. No, no, yeah. But like, I but I I, I honestly want to like it's, I, I I may be dating myself it, uh, where it's like, it, it the internet began as this place that was the wild west right and the beneficial parts of it were absolutely because of its lack of oversight censorship right and when we when we talk about net neutrality we 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 worry about the idea of corporate the psychology creeping into a place that was uh, possibly the bastion of free thought, and when, right. and the and the ACLU's very uh, sometimes unsavory, but I think admirable kind of stance. It's always like, look, if Nazis want to uh, get a permit and parade, we have to protect their speech as much as we protect a million man march because we we don't care if the quality of the speech that we're protecting, et cetera, et cetera. Right. It, 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 I'm throwing this shit at you, <laughs> not, not because I actually want to challenge you because I'm 46 and I'm tired and I, <laughs> I want all these kids fucking off my lawn. Sure. But... Sure. Yeah. I'm actually throwing it at you because I think uh, probably like maybe a, 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 there's a bell curve of my listeners who I would assume, especially even if they're decent people, that they're kind of like skewing towards, well, wait a minute, what are we pulling the plug on microphones? Right, yeah. So, I mean, there's a few things to parse there where the First Amendment covers the government restricting speech. So when you let the Nazis march and in free speech zones and things like that and the ACLU defends them, that's... Uh, the, that's really defending their right through the First Amendment for the government not to do it. It's sort of another story when uh, you are building all of these tools that allow the person to use this message board, and then there's another company that creates the DDoS protection, and there's another company that runs the servers, and all of these creative people have created together this space. Um, their contributions have then created HAN and allow it to thrive. And the internet, you're right, the internet was built as this decentralized place where anyone can create a website, anyone can go and put their stuff online. Um, and I guess the internet still allows neo-Nazis to do that. But the other, comp- the other part there is that like, if you have all the stuff that other people built, 
they're, they, don't have a, they don't have some obligation to have their creation used that way. So the fact that Facebook they, or uh, the company that does uh, DDoS protection, like hack, uh, uh, attack protection against websites, uh, that they're like, no, right? That, that to me seems valid, that um, you don't have a right to use all everyone's junk that way, like everyone's creative work that way. So... But and Facebook, that's, Facebook is evil, and yeah, like, Facebook I mean, they're, is also they're, also they're evil, selling right. your information. They're profiting. They're a yes. corporate for profit thing. Yeah, they they have a lot of also off. They also have a lot of terrible problems. I can't yes. believe yeah. I'm accidentally like like but what abouting on behalf of this thing. But <laughs> I, I, that's the thing is that I feel like I feel personally like the thing that's scooting me off of out of this arena right. is precisely because. Transparency is dead. Vulnerability is dead. Freedom is dead. Um, visibility is is nothing but a liability, et cetera, et cetera. And it's partially like every bone in my body wants to rumble the the brigands and and and, and firebrands that have rumbled me. For instance, like sure, they don't right. like they don't like who I am as a visible person, and to the extent that they are they. They coordinate, they reveal that nine years ago I fucked a baby in a comedy sketch. Right. Boom, boom, he should be fired. It, but it's a it's, fake baby. Yeah, a fake baby, the doll baby, yeah. But, I mean, those also guys, made love to those it. guys. I mean, they But it's yeah. but it's it's AT&T that almost fired me. And it's it's also partially people that you could call liberal that were like Oh, I didn't know that. He should be canceled. His life should be ruined. Right. And it's almost like like I look back, I got rumbled by these guys, and by right. these guys I mean like this knot of that internet. And yeah, I'm those like gross dudes. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, well, that's the shadow I cast <laughs> when I was 27. Sure. And right. I thought like them and felt like them. And aren't they just kind of coming back to haunt me and saying, You were like us. Don't fucking high road us. Don't do Whiting Wongs with Jessica Gao. Don't you, don't you dare. How dare you make Rick and Morty and like say that it's not okay to be racist. We're going to fucking out you and like like rumble you. I and I was sort of like, touche. <laughs> I'm done. And I don't like I, them. Yeah. But well, sure. at the same time, I don't, like, I will never advocate for, I, it, it, it's like, it's hard when I hear this, like, it's like, it's like oh shit, we're going to, we shut this area down. Right. But I, I'm i sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm babbling no. all this shit at you, no, no, and no. I don't mean to be cont overly contentious. No. It, 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 I'm I, actually I love it. Because I want, I want, you wrote a whole fucking book about <laughs> this, and you went back to the roots. Right. We had a conflict journalist on the previous yeah, episode. Yeah, I listened to that one. Yeah. yeah. And, and like, I, mean, I read some of his shit, and I was like, God damn, that's a compelling case. And I think it's, right. it's when you start to contextualize it in terms of like global politics. Right. When you start to think about it like, if this were ISIS, right. that's when you start to do, like your mind starts to go. Yeah. If we if we knew about a network on our internet that was radicalizing youth, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. So right. So I think you're kind of extending them a little too much credit. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I, know that you were them. This is a different breed of. Yeah, individual. I think that um, at 27, your mindset was not where these cats were. Well, I, I, I will only want I only want to say this to be perfectly fair. Like uh, uh, things that I said in text uh, at, at the age of 27 uh, uh, were, were were I mean I I th we didn't have the same words for it that we have today. And but I I, I I was a I was a young man that prided <laughs> himself on seeing beyond the grand illusion. <laughs> yeah, but you weren't looking for a racial mentor. You weren't looking for a racist that could sort of help uh, uh, solidify that you had been correct in your thoughts about society. Certainly would have drawn the line there. Right, but, but I think but, also but that's because I was talented. But that's the. <laughs> 
Yeah, that, I, that is no, a big you know difference I don't, between I don't, you and them. Yeah. That's, that's, that's surely <laughs> yeah, but my that's biggest... The, that, yeah. This yeah. is why thing. I don't truck with white uh, These guys supremacists don't. is because they're fucking obviously untalented. Otherwise, why would they be proud of the color of their skin? Right. Which is also why yeah. they need, they want a platform built for them, right? Where right. Right? so like, take us back to 2014 because I think <laughs> that's the thing. <laughs> wait, wait, did you read? Did you did you do? Wait, I did a little research. All, all right, right, okay, all just right. In case, just, history, just in case, roll through the history. <laughs> just in case you needed me. Um, 2014 is sort of the start, and you have the lineage broken down. Right. If you can get us there quickly, because I think that answers some of what you're asking. Well, no, yeah, no, I want. Uh, uh, sorry, I just want to say this at the beginning. The reason I like threw all this shit at you is. Uh-huh. because... Because I eventually you're gonna take us from the from the root to the leaves, okay. and I w- I didn't want anybody out there to have a resistant read to it. I wanted right. them to like lower their arms and go like, look, okay, so we're just being objective, and uh, <laughs> obviously no one writes a book about this shit without diving deep and opening themselves up to it. Sure. And I just didn't want there's it's, I just I didn't want to I didn't want anybody out there to be like. Ah, but I, I'm, I'm Han Solo, so why should I buy into this? That's that's it. So yeah, yeah. I mean, if imagine something where the creator it's, himself is like, this needs to be destroyed, right? <laughs> like that's sort of where we are with this debate. Where uh, it's, um, I mean, it's just like you create anything, right? You make art, and and like if the art's bad, no one has the right. You know, you know, like I have the right. Like everyone has to pay attention. to someone else has to promote it, right? It's it's like the right to promotion is what they're asking for. We're like you can you can put your Nazi garbage up on a website. No one's preventing you from doing that. Uh, but all of the stuff that it takes to uh, to like create something like HN, which loses a ton of money, it's just there as a vanity makes, project. Who makes money off of this sort of speech? Like who makes money off these sites? Um, HN loses a lot of money, and it's just there. This is like a crazy businessman in the Philippines who just adores it, and his son also is an avid HN user. That's why he owns the site. How much do you think they lose? Um, it's not sure. I didn't actually get that number out, but I know that it's probably in the thousands of dollars. So okay. he's kind of like, um, he just loves making uh, that kind of material. Wow. Yeah. So um, so that's that's the other issue that, yeah, there's been many times where people have uh, tried to create these sites and, and, and they've just flopped. And so now we have this weird scenario where HN was just this one weird guy uh, who, who fell into a great deal of money uh, uh, could, yeah, and and now and now runs up until last week. But what if we were to, so so take us back because right. your book yeah. is called it. It came from something awful. All right, you want to do that? You want to do the sweep? Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, you, right. you, you, if you don't want to, sure. So no, no, no. Let's let's do it. So the the nutshell sweep is that um, uh, in two thousand. Uh, three was the start of 4chan, and it was really out of the sort of nihilist, 90s nihilist sort of slacker culture, uh, which was another site called Something Awful, where, where that sort of humor where you're like dropping out of life, you're like, I don't care about politics, whatever, I'm going to just sort of have this race to the bottom of transgressive humor, <laughs> um, and it's going to be worse and worse and worse. And that site got so kind of dark and cynical that it had a spinoff, which was 4chan, uh, and 4chan had even less moderation. It was started by like a 15-year-old kid who was into anime, and he combined that, he copied a, a site in Japan called Two Channel, uh, and Two Channel was really dedicated to otaku culture. So this idea of like, I'm just gonna drop out, I'm not gonna climb the hierarchy of success, I'm not gonna go to school, it's too hard, I'm not gonna have a job, I'm gonna just hang out and consume fantasy products all day. That's Tyler Durden. Um, yeah, like... Or anything, Pepe yeah, the Frog, like yeah. anything. Like, like Tyler like, Durden, there was definitely like a Fight Club thing where like everything Rick sucks, Sanchez, society like any, sucks. Any, any like, popular icon, yeah. that, like, it's like, like, like po- things that are appealing to people are yeah. people that like unplug and go like, whatever yeah. the fuck, Big Lebowski, like, well, hey man, I don't care. Yeah, like, give I mean, me a white Russian. Yeah, I feel like in the 90s there was just this sense of ennui where people were like, nothing's gonna, we're just sort of like unhappy, we gotta, like, we're not gonna that do anything. That was the alternative comedy movement, yeah. the people like who are whiny? Yeah. Who are among? Yeah. Who are who are my honored colleagues? Sarah right. Silverman, Janine Garofalo, David Cross, like alternative comedians right. who began as actually just like thrusting their hands in their pockets and going like, yeah. I know one thing, I'm I sure the fuck am not Judy Tenuta. right? Like yeah, I'm yeah, not I'm yeah. not yeah. Tim Allen, and, that's for sure. And now like we're the exact opposite part, where youth culture is like uh, they're like. Uh, we're gonna uh, have a socialist revolution, and Pikachu is gonna lead it, or whatever. Like, <laughs> right? Like that's like youth culture, where they're like, you got Waluigi out there fighting the Proud Boys, right? So that that 
how do we get from there is through this these websites. Right. <laughs> so, um, so up until 2007, uh, 4chan becomes wildly popular. It is where memes come from. That's where they invented memes, and they sort of invented these trolling collectives of like. Probably most importantly, though, it's because the, it's the anonymity culture, right? You, yeah. There's no way to know on 4chan who you are like it, it, it's it's just rampant carnival like right in a, in a world that where you can do that anywhere but it's like 4chan almost like you can't go onto 4chan and go hey it's me you know me mr clean <laughs> like right. you can't you, you can't create an identity you can but it was like looked down upon but yeah it was almost all anonymous so it was just default the name that you put in the box was anonymous that's what the software displayed so everyone was anonymous and it was self deleting content it was super fast frenetic uh, sort of like that the facebook feed before the facebook feed where it's just churning through the sort of most popular commented upon comments and that sort of like weird ecosystem generated memes so anything was interesting or gross or the most insane stuff popped to the top and it was just this constant flow. So that was like what the youth culture was about. Do you think that's because it's easier to show an image than to be clever? Um, that was part of it. It was definitely like a competition to be weird, gross, and funny. That's really what it was. And like the, the founder of Something Awful described it to me. He's like, everyone was competing there to be the most fucked up piece of shit possible and they were all winning. Right? right, that was the competition. Would you look at the movies from back then? Pump up the volume, Heather's. I'm talking <laughs> to you, Christian Slater. <laughs> I, I really want to pin the blame squarely on Heather's. <laughs> I really just want but to put it I there. I mean, Breakfast Club, everything. Yeah, Christian Slater's e like, kill yourself, kill everyone else. Yeah. There was <laughs> good, there, there good was message. This, to there the was the heroism, denialism. I mean, it was yeah. like, if smash whatever you can. Yeah. Um, I, I, I remember being like 13, and my brother, who was no fucking hero in the neighborhood, um, marveling at what he called my, the the Beastie Boys generation as he looked at me and my 13-year-old <laughs> friends as we were like behaving the way we were in a mall because I think we had gotten some impulse in our head from watching Weird Science and Breakfast Club and all these things yeah. that we were like, your job as a hero is to hack culture. Right. It, all, everything around you is horseshit. John Hughes told me so. <laughs> if it has right. a logo on right. it, then it's garbage. Right. And to yeah. the extent that I smash it, I am a hero. Right. So that's what I kind of go over in the book where the crazy thing about that is that like that was new and we still have it today, but it started in the 80s and then the 90s and sort of got worse and worse as entertainment culture and marketing culture just expanded. Right, so in the '60s, youth culture was about like socialist revolution, where we're back to today, and they're about like oh, they had like s sincere politics, and they were going to change the world. And then by the time we reach the '90s, it's like we're in this psychic garbage dump. The psychic garbage dump is like full of all of these different marketers and all these products and all this pop culture, and we're just like skimming in the bits, and it's represented on the internet, and we're gonna like cobble it back together into memes, and that's gonna be our culture, and we're just gonna drop out because it's so hopeless. Um, so that's where it was, and then it totally flipped in like 2008, and 4chan birthed Anonymous, the Hacker Collective, and they're like, oh, we're so powerful, we, we're so many uh, young men, like hundreds, thousands of people, all collectivized online, we actually have a lot of power. Like, we created memes, that was powerful. Uh, we can intimidate people as hackers and troll armies, that's powerful. And they said, well, oh, we have these things that we believe in. We believe in libertarian internet freedom. Uh, we, we're anti-corporation, we're anti-church of Scientology. And so suddenly they became this like cogent political movement. Uh, so the opposite happened and like they're protesting on the streets. And I'm like going to the protests and it's like, the raids that they have online. They're like dressed as the same cartoon characters. Right. Um, I want to I I pause there because you said, you said they flipped in 2008. Yeah. And what you, you, I want to be clear about what you mean. They, they, they flipped maybe from towing the line that they would, uh, you would automatically assume and maybe people are outraged, like how could they possibly be Nazis? Uh, uh, they flipped to con conservative is what you mean. They, no, they, no, they no, flipped, no, no, they this, no. To, no. What no, did they flip to? They flipped from dropped out nihilism to political activism. Well, okay. So they were on the left then. Oh, so they flipped, yeah. fr they flipped from Alanis Morissette having one hand in her pocket and the other flashing a peace sign to both hands manipulating the 
political scene. Yeah, one on the computer, right, right. in the glow of the green they're, screen. They're yeah. like, okay, yeah. we're. I like. I. I think Alanis Morissette is the best vessel to understand this. <laughs> I'm just trying. <laughs> So Which like, is ironic. Yeah, I'm just trying to put her in the... Yeah, right. The, finally. Yeah. Finally, we found... Uh, uh, which finally, is... It took which a long... Is, it took, it to, what, the, it took the us 20 years. The fact that it's years. ironic? Yeah, but now we're here. It's yeah, ironic. Finally got there, Holy man. shit, Alanis. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you're listening. So, like, yeah, like... Uh, ironic convergence. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, you know, like last week when Waluigi is fighting the Proud Boys or whatever, like two days ago, and he's got the anonymous mask on, the Guy Fox mask, which is like from a, f- a comic book, which is from a movie, but the movie is about anti-fascism and political activism, right. and right? Um, so they took all that pop culture stuff, movies and comics, and they're like, oh, this is real, this is sincere, we're not right. ironic anymore. We can we're do this, nice. we're a lobbying group, it's sort of like, it's not unlike baby boomers going like, oh, we're silver foxes, let's do this. <laughs> I, 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 so, 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 2008. You're looking at there's this pivot point because that's probably when what the Tom Cruise thing happens. With yeah, that's the exactly right. Anonymous. That's like, the moment. Taking down right. Scientology is yeah. such an obvious bad guy. Right. And it's sort of like that dopamine rush of right. like, oh my god. Yeah. But that, I've seen documentaries where it's like, well, it's almost like the Weathermen or the the uh, it, it, it's it's like any kind of like activist group like the the people that were involved in that. You you have no way of knowing they vanish and then there's people who take their place who yeah. are like and then that that I am not your personal army kind of thing starts yeah. where it's like because it, it's like oh we have this power let's use it to make this girl kill herself yeah and, because she's a slut and 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 and, and then people go like what. What? That's how right. is how does that equate with our battle with Scientology? Yeah, yeah, that was the huge problem of making a decentralized group, right? <laughs> yeah, where um, anyone could say, "Oh, that's us," and it was that trolling sensibility where uh, they, the boards were still full of nihilists and they broke, so there was like a big split. So half of them were like, "No, we're gonna have we're gonna be real uh, political actors. We're gonna fight for democracy in the Arab Spring." And then the other half were like, "No, we're trolls still, and we want to." Uh, still do obnoxious things like uh, hack forums, so uh, hack an ep- epilepsy form with flashing gifs, so everyone uh, has a seizure. Right? That was what they did to say to sort of fight back against the image that they're um, uh, hacktivists. Um, so yeah, there was a big split there. Uh, but the anonymous hacktivist, hacktivist collective actually goes on for the next few years, and they defend Julian Assange and all this stuff. But then the FBI just arrests all the principal members. They go after all of them, um, and most of them went to jail, and that's the end of the movement. And then we get the moment that you're waiting for, where after that happens, uh, then the boards are like ultra nihilistic, the losers, are, they've been there for like six or seven years, new kids are coming in, and then they flip to the right. That's like the movement, that, that's the movement towards the right. And that's because like those sort of dynamics where really it's, um, you have, less and less opportunities for kids to have fulfilling jobs, to move out of their parents, have like adequate housing, have access to education. That's getting worse after the 2008 crash. And then on the other half, uh, you have expanding screen worlds, expanding entertainment products. Yeah. You can just live forever in the video games and like society makes it really easy to do that. They're like, you want to play Mario Maker two all your all day? Yeah, that's great. I like Amazon and will ship a, and it the and next. And that's day. a libertarian world. The, the, the guy who created the Silk Road was a passionate libertarian. Yeah. Li- libertarianism, ironically, is like a closer cousin to conservatism because you want you want no oversight, you want no regulation, you you want the free market to figure it out, and that makes a hell of a lot of sense if your parents turn out to be way the fuck wrong <laughs> about you being good at Mario Brothers not leading to you making a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, and and this, this world kind of like says to them, like mounting student debt, and also they're, they're, they're riding this wave of like, it's too many Facebook posts about affirmative action gone wrong, about uh, things that like a- everything that's click worthy is like about the world's gone sour. Right. Uh, the, the, all of these dreams of the voting, voting uh, rights act and all these things that, oh, it's political correctness has gone mad. That's, there, there's nothing fun for a 15 year old. 
right, about yeah. about going like that, that was the other yeah, thing. Yeah, but here's the thing: littering's bad. Yeah, that's, like, yeah. like that's not what yeah. a fifteen year old does. Yeah, and that I I cover in my book as well. Where like the same time that's happening, um, Tumblr, which is the majority all female image sharing site, that's sort of like a uh, a female version of 4chan, except nice. Um, it is developing a new sort of set of leftist politics, which is full of feminist critical theory, but it's also uh, very rigid in its structure, and it, it's for very many valid reasons. It's based around this idea that, like, okay, there's cis white males at the top of this power pyramid, and then the idea of politics is to lift everyone up to that same level, uh, all the other minority groups, and then you have this vast group of of men on the margins, young men on the margins at 4chan, and they're like, we are the oppressed ones, right? We are losers. Uh, and they're furious at that, and they want to abandon the left for that reason. And of course, like you're saying, like, it's very polite, that culture, so they sort of agree upon a mor moral value system, and they all sort of append it, and then they say, that's it, that's the moral system that we're gonna have. And 4chan as trolls and like young men who wanted to offend, they were like really delighted in trolling that culture, being the outsider and sort of steering into the skid, being like, all right, if I'm the loser, I'm gonna be like the best loser. That like, right, or the worst but are loser. You, right? you, you don't have, do you have a chapter in your book about, about Tumblr being a bag of shit? Like, I, 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 uh, I, I'm, uh, you, you, we, I we do not, we do not, not want a society based on Tumblr. I fled that as quickly as I've fled um, Twitter. I, 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 I heavily critique Tumblr. Uh, yeah, I have it's three. A, I, it's I a, have, it's a, if if Fortune considers Tumblr the girls camp across the lake and they're going yeah, on exactly, panty raids, yeah, which yeah. is basically what's yeah. happening. It's and, juvenile behavior. Yeah, right. We're gonna right. we're gonna do a DNS attack and fucking this yeah, chick's exactly account and all this yeah. shit. It's just like just children. Yes. And, and, and I, I've been abused by both of them. I <laughs> right. shake my cane at all of them. I go, "You're yeah. young. I'll be on Instagram for yeah. some reason." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like showing myself swimming in my pool. So right, all. yeah, so you're like, right, it's kind of inherently, you're like, oh, it's just kids, but like the weird thing is that Tumblr's politics then got imported into leftist politics, and then 4chan's politics got imported into the right, and it's like those, all of those ideas that like incubate it there, then those kids grew up, they're a few years older, and they just, now they're everywhere, right? So it's like... God, they're feeding into each other, and it's, it's, it's sort of the bottom line is sort of more of an anthropological one, which is the right. children are communicating faster, <laughs> like they're speaking a language we don't understand. I, 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 that's what drives me away from the whole thing, is like, I don't get you kids anymore. <laughs> right. I don't get when you really mean it. Three faces with tears coming out of your eyes. Like, <laughs> do you mean... <laughs> You hate me. Um, <laughs> I, I, like, why can't you understand my dryness? Like I'll, I'll, I'll go. Like I'll say in in all due friendship yeah. to somebody on Instagram. Uh, uh, like I'll 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 kind of I'll give what I consider to be like a kind of like I'm a middle aged man and like somebody will like j jab me a little bit like a juvenile kind of jab and mm -hmm. I'll I'll do what I think is like the right thing to do, which is. <laughs> jab them back a little harder yeah, that, that but be like like, like, like don't be yeah. fucking like like and then they'll yeah. go like dude chill what the <laughs> fuck's wrong with you i'm gonna sue you and then i'm like uh, what the fuck's wrong with all of you <laughs> yeah, it, it, right. it, 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 yeah. there's no i'm afraid of young people and, and I, sure well and, and, yeah, and they should be afraid and, and, the, and the young strength. people yeah. are afraid right. of each other yeah they're and deeply it, afraid it's such a classic it's a tumblr versus fortune yes uh you're exactly right that i said in my book it's based on fear that's the fundamental value that they're all powerless but right? i'll say I'll, i mean i in case anyone wants to know i'm not i'm not both sidesing it i because <laughs> my my tenure on on tumblr um uh it, it, it like the result of it is an inbox full of of vulnerable honest yes. like right. uh people who like if I start talking about it, I'll cry because I can't. Yes. I can't pile through the messaging of people reaching out to me yeah, right. and letting me right. know personal things. And, and then 4chan's like, I'm coming to your house and going <laughs> to mutilate you with a scalpel. I mean, yeah. they're <laughs> like, yeah, they're yeah. they're like, yeah, it's it's because every th the on the other side, it's all about identity. Right. Yeah. It's that, and it's that phrase, identity politics, keeps yeah. coming up. Too. Yeah. So the way that I critique Tumblr in my book is that I think that uh, the sites themselves, Tumblr and social media, is based around 
idea, uh, self-obsession that you're po you're putting all this stuff up and you're creating this hall of mirrors where you're like looking at all the selfies and you're like, what selfie best reflects my lifestyle? Yeah. And that's what it can, it's very addictive. That's why it exists in the first place because they want to keep going back. But then the politics then reflects that uh, obsession with cultivating your your identity and yourself. Yeah. So it really comes from like s some uh, asshole at the top who's just like I'm raking it in. There's right? some, like, there's, <laughs> there's some key here where it's like it, it, it I swear, <laughs> I it, it 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 fuses with Joseph Campbell where it because the ornamentation of ritual and stuff like it, it the when anonymity becomes a culture. Right. And they, it's carnival, and it's like, wait a minute, how many days have we been doing this? Like, are you a, <laughs> are you a bird man? That's like allowed to rape me, or are you my fucking banker? Like, um, like, like, with I Venice don't understand that question, run. but I, we, we, <laughs> let me break um, it down for but you. I, I want are you to. a bird man? <laughs> <laughs> well, we had, we, we, I, I, I'm learning this from I, I my tour of Venice. Yeah, like, the, it is the best question I've ever gotten. Their description of carnival yeah. culture. <laughs> it starts with like they, there was this thing that the royalty was like. Oh, it started with like a kind of a let them eat cake thing, and let, let, let let's all have a Halloween party. And then it, it it grew and grew and grew because people were finding more and more. This is a great healthy outlet for me to be who I really am. And by who I really right. am, I mean who I really am not. And so that's a commentary on either A, society is not allowing me to be who I am, but in any case, isn't it like that moment in To Kill a Mockingbird where, you know, Atticus steps out in the porch, he looks at these guys in hoods, and he goes, hey, Clay, Simmons, I bought bird feed from your house the other day. Hey, John Goldberg. There probably wasn't John Goldberg in To Kill a Mockingbird. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, this is my Dan Harmon uh, revised uh, To Kill a Mockingbird. Uh, it, 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 light is a disinfectant. It, 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 yes. Um, uh, anonymity is a fucking problem. And yeah. yet, so is fame culture. Yeah. It, right. it, 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 you, there are two ends of the They're spectrum pulse, where people yeah. go like, if, if, if I can brand myself and people can understand who I am, it's me, Daphne. Yes. And I represent yeah. only the best things in the world. Yeah, that's the And my that's the eating right disorder dance. Yeah. will be in the background <laughs> and all these things. And then you have the, yeah. ty the Tyler Durden in Sneaking News who goes like, Daphne is full of shit. The She's a hall of mirrors. Yeah. But in order to express that, you don't yourself go, my name's Tyler Durden. It's on my birth certificate. I risk my identity. I choose to call you out, Daphne. What you do is you put on a ski mask and you mm, throw yeah. apples at her house yeah. and i'm thinking solution. like you two yeah. are monsters both of you <laughs> you're the shadows that you cast like is there so, yeah it, it, what is my point i don't know i don't know you got the dialectic right that's i, the, I that's think the, that anonymity the is yeah they're both awful yeah is something requires something there yeah um, the, i mean the idea that that and i i swear to god i want to repeat again i <laughs> the, the shit that ever happened to me when i got rumbled by these droogs. Yeah. Um, I deserve every scrap of it. Like, you hear me, guys? Like, I am not complaining. I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> um, uh, but I want to say, in terms of dialectic, like, um, it, it, if you have to remain anonymous in order to accomplish your goals, right? we have a tradition in our culture with those people. Like we we are pretty sure that those people are saying one I don't believe in a representative democracy. Mm -hmm. um, I, it, 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 we are being fooled by our migration to online into thinking that uh, we don't matter as people, yeah. and 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 and, and, and we're so, it's almost like I'm sorry if this is a crass metaphor, but it's almost like the entire internet basically says to us, you're automatically in a hood. Right. When you log on, and it's your choice how much you want to roll it up and show your face, and the people that choose to do that are influencers, and they're like, and they're dishonest. And right. it, but you, if you do nothing, if you exhibit no effort at all, you're in a hood. Now, people yeah, in the hoods, yeah. like they're they do bad things. Like they do things that they don't, they wouldn't be actually willing to do if their job. Was right. on the line if their mother's love was on the line. Sure. Like, like, like sure. that's the yeah. So you're you're right that uh, not the anonymity of 4chan created a really toxic environment, and really no one 
uh, sorry about that. Uh, no one had really done anything like that, allowed it to fester like that before. And you're right that when they're anonymous, uh, when people are anonymous, they treat each other like total garbage. They do garbage things. They know there's no consequences. Um, but at the same time, the other side, where there were all these corporations who were like, oh, well, it's very addictive to replicate the ego online and enchant people through this hall of mirrors where they're constantly looking at their self-image. Uh, and so then you get uh, this vast population of young people who are interested in doing that and build the whole culture around it. And so anonymous uh, and fortune culture was like, we are built around raiding corporate spaces, on, corporate online spaces, breaking them apart, breaking apart the fantasy. Oh, you think you're gonna be a, a wonderful dwarf in Second Life? Well, I'm gonna go in there and ruin the whole experience for you because you're, uh, you're under a delusion. Hate right? to say it, some, yeah, something like her, her, the, 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 that, that, that aligns ironically with the transgender movement. Like, like online where you go, like, I, I am allowed to be proud of myself. Like, it, I would be outnumbered at work, I'd be outnumbered at school, I'd be outnumbered everywhere I went in real life. But right. online, I'm able to actually access other people that are telling me, I too feel the way you feel. You are not alone, you are not outnumbered. You'll never win a district. Right. There's no way for us to right. take over a fucking section of a city. Right. But here, here you are. And it's like the, the internet is lowering shame walls, and right. that includes for Nazis. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah. So, I mean, I write about this in the book where there's lots of positive ways where if you're trans or if you're gay and then you can meet other folks, and that's where how people described it that way, the internet um, in the 90s, it was like a, a, a breath of fresh air that they could actually do that. And then the, but the flip side, of course, is that you get groups, you get a group think that if everyone wants to gather, uh, get together and they're like, I love suicide. You're like, oh, yeah, I love, su yeah, I love suicide too. And they're like, that's great. We should all think about how we're going to kill ourselves or how we're going to get like so thin that um, we're going to be anorexic. And that happened on 4chan as well with uh, the incels and so forth that, that they got together and they're like, I'm such an otaku, I'm, I'm so doomed, I'm just gonna, I, I think that I'm born to be on 4chan for my entire life and never go outside, only like look at anime, that's just inherently who I am, and then the rest of them were just convincing them that they're like exactly right. Yeah. Yeah, and so that uh, generated like, um, uh, yeah, like this weird group think, and it got even worse, and out of that culture grew the alt-right. So it's crazy because they say this is also what causes addiction is loneliness. And these people were very lonely. Oh yeah. They were but like some of these people deserve to be lonely. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, you could say that like, I, um, I also like to mock them and I don't like particularly like a lot of them. Um, I, I, yeah. So I, yeah, I only have a, I only have a, a dislike because I think that they don't value skills that we all have to hone. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the other thing that, like, um, it's kind of like the, you know, like, my first job out of college was teaching middle school, and there was, like, the one kid that got bullied, and, like, then he just became an asshole, because, yeah. right, because he's like, I'm going to own it, right? He's like, that's my recourse, that's what I'm going to be. Um, or he was an asshole, and we all yeah. knew. Yeah, S yeah, yeah. So, uh, honestly, asshole, there, yeah. there have been kids that you learn, you stand up for them, and then as you turn to them before somebody punches them, you're like, huh, I got your back. And they're like, thanks, nigger. And you're like, oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> no, yeah. that's why people bully yeah, you. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's yeah. why people yeah. fucking bully yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. right. So, uh, so, and I do it think. It kills me so, every you know. time you say that word, Brandon. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> I'm I so just sorry. love it. Oh, my God. I love hearing it. I'm so yeah. sorry. So, you know, I like, can't you say it, it anymore. <laughs> even as you a joke, say it. I just no, maybe you can to you, say it maybe in a tent no, if we go to, to Utah. <laughs> I could like take you to a national park and I whisper in your recording. ear through an encrypted walkie-talkie. Nice. Brandon, what? can I say Don't it one more time? I Go <laughs> ahead, friend. <laughs> I'll let you, uh, for your birthday. You know, the N-word is like lingerie for special <laughs> occasions. <laughs> Maybe you're standing next wow. to me, we had a concert, and I look over and I'm like, you can sing along, baby. <laughs> You're special tonight. Is your friendship with your black friend failing that spark? Sp <laughs> Spruce it up with this beautiful N-word. I just the hard R boosts your irreverence. 
I'm, uh, my black uh, friends yeah. are cheating me, man. That's we're, true. Yeah, that's we're true. No, that was with part of the deal. So um, it's part of the deal. You get a pork chop recipe and you get to say the N word. It's not. <laughs> But so, oh, what, so <laughs> let, let's let's talk about you, the person, your experience as a, yeah, as a researcher, yeah, sure, because sure. that's very interesting. So, how long ago does this journey start that oh, ends God. with you writing this book? Oh God. Um, um, so I f- I found Fortune very early on, uh, maybe like 2004. I was I started my career doing web comics, and they were linking in my site. I saw that the, in the referral logs that they were linking my comic. So I kind of found them that way, and I knew about something awful. Uh, and then they were at my local anime convention in Baltimore, and Whoa. I thought. Um, yeah, and th- then they were just like nerds, right? In costume, they were just losers in costume. Well, what do you of. mean they? How do you how do you know that they're there? They would. That was the only place they would meet. They would have a four chan meetup, and they would like uh, sing memes and stuff, and like uh, that's literally. They oh my would God, just, that's so delightfully nerdy. Yeah, like the one one year they sang uh, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air theme song in the rounds, right? That was like what they would do, right? They and started they, the way we all did. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like it was that same nerdy <laughs> culture, right? Yeah. Like of like, uh, their, yeah, but, but it was their, crazy. Their origami like, became hating black people. I love that. Yeah, exactly. Like, how do you get? Yeah, right. Yeah, so well, how do you how do you distinguish yourself? And they're not. You're right. They're they're just nerds back then, and they're like, we were trying to replicate what's on the screen. Sure. Yeah. So, um, so I knew about them then, and I was like, this is crazy. Uh, and then I saw that it was expanding, and it was inventing all this stuff that like just had this huge impact on culture. Uh, and then I tried to report on them in 2008. I went to their to the anonymous. Uh, meeting, like when they went and intimidated Church of Scientology and did the protest, I still couldn't figure it out. Um, and then, well, t- so l- l- let me pause you there. It, it, so, in this, so you're leading up to the peak because I've seen the documentaries, and up till now, we're talking about heroes here. So, were you writing that wave? You, you, you're, you're like, these are great. This is a great thing. Yeah, I, I I thought they were pretty inspiring that that they would at least kind of have agency over their it life. It was hacker right? culture, yeah, right? That, it's like I want to be a Linux guy. I don't want to <laughs> use a fucking I mean, PC or a Mac. I, I want to n- throw my mouse in the garbage and have fingerless <laughs> gloves. Like you know, like ticka 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 tack tack tack. Between the like, let's just like drop out and kill each other youth culture that I grew up in, right? Where you're like, whatever. It's just like we're just watching TV all day and like making shitty jokes, like. That changing into like we're gonna destroy Mastercard, right? Like that that idea. I was like, oh, that's. I'm glad that they're sort of finding some political agency. Right. Um, Still, yeah, because that sounds awesome. Mastercard, yeah, yeah. just the name it, says destroy yeah, me, right? Um, but I, I kind of, wa- I was doing comics still and stuff like that, but I wanted to be a writer, so I was like, oh, I'll write on them. But I still didn't understand what the hell was happening, um, and I kind of like. Um, I went on and did other work. So the last work that I did before the 4chan book uh, was I was doing cart- I did a, like a pilot for Cartoon Network. I was doing like cartoons and stuff. So I was like, oh, that'll be uh, you know I'll do that side. But by 2016, they started popping up back in the news. They were intimidating the art scene across the country, but also in Baltimore. So like my friends were getting harassed by 4chan, and I was like, oh. Um, uh, this was in the wake of the ghost ship fire. I don't even remember if you like there. There was one of these sort of show spaces that caught on fire, um, uh, and it was like a, a fire hazard. A lot of folks. San Francisco. Yeah, I think so. Right? Yeah. And this guy had had a bunch of spaces. Yeah. He'd been doing it for a really long time, and something went wrong. On this yeah. Particular. And um, 4chan decided at that point, well, like, oh, well, we hate people on the left, we hate young people that are kind of like us that are happy and out partying, and they had already moved to the right, and they're like, let's do this all over the nation. Let's intimidate. Uh, these people with the show spaces. So I was like, oh, I, uh, this is a... <laughs> yeah, see, that's, yeah. yeah okay. I mean, just, yeah, awful stuff. But I, No, go ahead. Yeah, just so, keep talking. Yeah, I'm just so like... Man, I, at that I, point, I was like trying to explain it to my friends. I was like, no, they were nerds who were like singing the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air theme song like f- 10 years ago. That, like, it was like... So I was like, all right, I'll write it up. And I kind of thought... Uh, you know, a few people would read it or whatever. I, I pitched it to magazines. They said no. And then I self-published it on Medium and like millions of people read it. They're like, everyone was like, you know, baby boomers were like, what the hell? Like, because at that point, uh, Richard Spencer had been punched by Antifa with the uh, uh, Pepe the Frog pin, which is the 4chan symbol of loserdom. Trump had tweeted himself as Pepe the Frog. And people are like, what the hell is happening? So that article... 
at least was one of the first ones. There were probably would have been other people that would have rushed to fill that void, but I just accidentally happened to be first. Um, and then uh, I became uh, doomed to, to write the book, where <laughs> uh, people were like, well, now we need a book. You can sell the book. Um, and then it was kind of like... It's like those science fiction movies where, like, it's kind of like the trope where, like, they're like, there's the mystery zone, and we're like, like, we're gonna send a bunch of marines in, like, they're not coming back, but like, then like, then you know, then one comes back, and he's like all fucked up, like that's me, like they didn't expect me to come back, right? They're like, wow. like the contract was like, you know, if you don't make it, you just you got you got to give the money back, right? Uh, <laughs> I want to so, circle back to the. Oh, sorry, Brandon. When, no, no, you got it. Well, I I want to circle back to the Pepe the Frog thing because I I, I believe. They're you're you're shooting a documentary. You need those sound bites. Oh the, yeah, the, 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 but yeah. I, 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 I value no, it's that. No, it's not me. Yeah, they're yeah. No, because that yeah. documentary needs to happen because that's a fucking fascinating story. Yeah. But I'm also fascinated by this different. I just want to add like lower this like fucking Enola Gay bombshell of a question because of what has just happened, which is. Okay, so we see what the movement was in Portland. As far as I understand it, and again, as I always say on this podcast, if I know about it, it's, a, it's gotten through a million miles of gravel because my sole purpose is to avoid the world. <laughs> but sure. what I understand is what happened is that the, the unfortunately named Proud Boys... <laughs> Um, which is literally what I call my dogs. Like, like I, I only because I just want them to be happy. I, 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 I just, I, it, it, I just, I feel like they need encouragement. And, 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 and but I, yeah, and I, I'm boy, so yeah. conflicted that's, every that's time natural. I call them, and I go, it's "Good, natural. good natural. boys, proud boys." Like yeah, they, they right. made doo doo, and like yeah. I'm so proud of them. Are they Nazis? <laughs> um, none, none that dogs their are. actual stated movement, which you gotta give props to the Hank Aaron calling the fucking bleachers. It's like they, they're like. We're going to do the thing. <laughs> what I saw in the news was they're like, we're going to have a parade that's themed uh, Antifa should be a terrorist group. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Which, which <laughs> throws down this ridiculous, like, passive-aggressive child super nanny episode, like, gauntlet, which is like, what are you going to do? Show up and prove us right or not show up and let us run All rampant right, through the streets? right. So I what my question to you is, which okay. is like the big Monty Python like twenty ton question is in a world where now the president of the United States is like down to talk about classification of terrorist groups based on amorphous ideology, because as far as I know, Antifa means against fascism, right? And I really would prefer to live in a world where that's not. Sh sure. Terrorism? Uh, sure. Uh, however, sure. hey, I'm just chilling in my pool. Um, <laughs> in a world where that, it's, it's like, like, does that affect your, uh, because it's like, aren't, I don't want to say, aren't we, is that like, like, isn't the same thing to say that this section of the garden hose of information that is mm. 8chan, like, Oh, that's evil. That's that's a terrorist cell. Right. And I don't mean to make light of that um, observation because, God damn it, the fucking links are more severe than if any of these people were brown or is Islamic. I mean, that's when you when you start to compare the shit. It's like that's when it all gets black and white, as comparisons are but it's like <laughs> but i'm saying like it's it's like it's like in the are we move are, aren't we all just don't we just keep moving forward into civil war isn't that what we're doing and is that just what we're doing um you're asking me to predict if there will be a civil war <laughs> well, in the I'm united saying, states like is our is our ideology that like eight chans evil it should be shut down it, it is that the same thing as the president of the United States saying the the word Antifa, which means if you show up with a homemade gas mask and throw a fucking rock at a Nazi, right. like now all of a sudden you're associated with them. Like they, they, they want that eight Chan to be illegal too. They want to pull the yeah. plug on that. They, they want you to be a terrorist instead of just a kid that threw a rock. Right. So I, I think you're the answer here is that, 
I do think that unless the systemic problems which create fascism go away or are addressed, this will continue. So, I mean, it really begs the question, like, what is fascism, which I go over in the book. Uh, but essentially, um, when you look at it, the people that analyzed it in the 30s, there was this combination of l g vast groups of people who were disenfranchised. Hannah Arendt, who wrote The Origins of Totalitarianism, called them de-classed, de <laughs> de right? So they're without context. Um, they don't have a job through these sort of throws of capitalism. They're thrown, and so totally decontext. They're rocked by multiculturalism. Right. So they search for identity, and the last refuge they hit upon is their whiteness. Uh, and yeah, and then they imagine they also have this other fantasy where they're like, society is falling apart, and just like I'm dissipated, and my personal I'm crisis. I'm Cinderella. There's a reason I don't have a glass slipper. Yeah. So like, right. Uh, uh, I, I, I actually don't understand what you're saying. I was trying to get yes, you. I didn't no, want to stop you. Right. Uh, I was going to say right it's, anyway. It's why don't I have a glass sl right. slipper? Yeah, I'm right. Cinderella. Yeah. That's uh, a, I thought it was. I, was okay. I wasn't trying to slow you down. No, no, no. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so, I'm, now I'm trying to work in the Cinderella image. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't, no, no, don't, no, yeah, don't. Okay. No, right, I was right, trying. Right. I was just going like I'm right. like the lady in the church going like Hallelujah. Right, I, yeah. I, I, so. I was just I was just backing <laughs> you up. I was trying to support yeah. you. So yeah, so they are the anti. So they're not getting the glass slippers, right? right. Yeah, so they're like, why not me? Right. So uh, they find context in whiteness, which is like the last thing that they can do. Um, and then they imagine they're not talented, right? Yeah. So they're and they don't have friends, and they're like, "Oh, my whiteness gives me context and it gives me identity." And then the other thing they do is they're like, "Well, why am I in the bottom?" So they have, to, and if you don't really read a lot, if you don't think a lot, then sort of the default ideology is this sort of social Darwinist idea that life is the zero sum game. It's this cruel hierarchy uh, where there's a few people on the top. Uh, and I'm on the bottom, and I have to climb my way to the top, just like sort of like a cruel competitive businessman. Which is right? capitalism's fault. Yes, right. It's the capitalist ideology, right? Right. Uh, but so not they, just capitalists, yeah. minorities' fault too, for they occupy the space that that's you should have. Yeah, that's the next step, right? So Brandon's, then when you I'm imagine tired that. of you blaming minorities for everything. <laughs> right. So once you've got that picture in your head, and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for my friend. Uh, don't apologize. He's a little racist. <laughs> I'm pretty big. <laughs> um, but yeah. this is a profound thing. There's a finer line between capitalism and fascism. There always has been. That's because both things say, if you do your work down here, right. you can overtake your shitty ass boss. Right. Fascism says. If you watch your shitty ass boss long enough, he's gonna slip up and you can <laughs> slit his fucking throat. It, 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 Isn't that also what capitalism? Very says? It, it, well, <laughs> depending on who you ask. Yeah, right. It, 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 it is. I understand the the conflation. Right. I get it. However, I'm here to tell you, capitalism better. <laughs> All right, you, I, you I may agree. say, agree. but agree. Dan, it's because you're rich. Agree. But and I'm both like, yeah. Yes. Touche. Yeah. Yes. So <laughs> both suffer from the flaw of scarcity. So, Anyways. So yeah. So um, yeah. Then the next step is imagining. Oh well, the minorities at the top they've usurped that place that's for me, and I have to. With all the the goal then of politics is to displace them, put them at the bottom through violence or whatever. Um, so that's sort of the the uh, uh, the rough picture of how it happens. And then, of course, we see that exactly the same with the incel communities, with these men on 4chan. The exact same dynamics are happening. Uh, so you have a group, d class, totally marginalized group. They have a fantasy of becoming the breadwinner, becoming the middle class. And you see that in the shooters where they're like, oh, that's kind of what I imagine will happen after we kill everyone and create a fascist state. Um, and they imagine that, oh, their personal crisis of dissolution where they're on the internet all day surfing pornography, that's like the nation in general. And they're like, oh, well, the minorities that are coming over the border and the whole nation is disintegrating just like I'm disintegrating, right? That's their image. Also, they really did make themselves poor black teens. Yeah, so they, exactly they, right. Yeah, there was, this, right. there was this point in America where white people started to make themselves minorities. So they were like, hey, yeah. We also have these issues. There's drug use in our communities. We're poor. We're not working. We are just, we're suffering just like they are. And we want the same <laughs> it's route. It's a weird race to want to win. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, yeah. continue. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah. I'm why do I and keep we ruining my own show? <laughs> I can't, I I'm, I'm just a fan. I like hearing you guys. Uh, and Am we I want the same loud? route. We want the same route to excellence that they get. So we want grants. 
We right. want special privileges. Yes. We, I, we that, want that neighborhood. A yeah. poetic irony, man. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I just started listening to this more perfect uh, podcast uh, brought to you by Radio Lab or whatever. It's right. just like I, it, you, on paper, it couldn't be more boring. Right. Like, oh, we're gonna, just going to talk about the Supreme Court like decisions, and I'm just like so addicted to it because it is like it, it makes you realize, like, God damn, the national psyche, like, oh, we're just we're embroiled in this shit, and of course we all know that as individuals. You walk down the sidewalk every day and you have all these unresolved issues that you won't cop to, and the reason you won't cop to them is because, thank God, you don't have to cop to them. You, right. don't, you, you, you can put off those thoughts for another day because what's your job? Well, you need to graduate from college, then you need to get a job. You need to make money. Yeah. You get you get all these level ups you need to do before you get to finally pronounce to everybody, you here's the truth about the color of my skin and the shape of my brain and the thing I came from. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> I'm not at that level yet. I'm not a brain shape level. <laughs> but but it, it, I'm working it, my way up. You we, square we, brain we, motherfucker. <laughs> It's going to be a sick shape, though, when I get there. You guys are going to be excited. <laughs> <laughs> there is a crazy... Uh, yeah, well, whatever. I, I, I'm not going to fucking dan-splain the Supreme Court <laughs> history to everybody. It, Why I, not? I, I, please. I would recommend listen to this podcast because it, it is like cast like a crazy... The, 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 the civil rights movement was entirely based in the judicial branch. And, and it yes. was absolutely because, which I didn't realize, it was like you 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 go through all of these uh, Black History heroes and things, and you go, well, then this person uh, they appealed this case and all these things, and you don't realize the overwhelming theme is the judicial branch, and then right. you realize that part of this part of our nation's history is actually people who are going, hey, whoa, the judicial branch shouldn't be this much in charge of the fate of our country. Uh, that there were key right. points where people are like, right. whoa, 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 what's going on here? Right. We're not supposed to be able to, we, we, we should just sit here in our robes and like say whether this guy robbed a grocery store or not. Right. <laughs> like, to like, to it, legislate from the bench. It, like, like there was a key point yeah. when, when, it, when it turned into a different thing and became, tr uh, yeah. Anyways, my name's Dan Harmon. My <laughs> podcast is bad. <laughs> You're crushing it. Uh, what's to come? What's the come? <laughs> oh, Lord. Sweat it out, buddy. What do we got? So, What's to come, are you we, piece of shit? Yeah. Uh, so that, we, that's where, yeah. So, did we drive them, are, have we driven them into a space where it's harder to monitor now that we've put clamps down? Or, are they, or, or were they never really that scary to begin with and they kind of hyped themselves? Um, I mean, they are a real threat. And it's true that, yeah, when HN's gone, they're just going to scatter to other places. Um, but I do think there's kind of cause for some hope here, which is that they're all uh, teenagers or kids or men with the adolescent mindset of uh -huh. boys. That means they're kind of very mercurial, very variable. They have an identity crisis inherent in who they are. And they're just hooked on Buffy reruns. Yeah, if you, if well, you that's where they started. Weeks. That's where they started, right? And they're like, 10 years of Buffy reruns, I have to do try and then they're groping around and they're like, fascism, that'll fix it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm try I'm really trying to land in a place where I understand this because I yeah, don't I can, like I, I can like go through the rest of the chronology. Like yeah. I feel like we cr we kind of like hit around 2012 to and like we got Gamergate in 2014 and then the and then the Trump stuff. Um, I'm, I'm cool with you going through the rest of that timeline, but I I I'm always going to have this key issue which has okay. to do with like I'm always going to be that guy until I see the light. Which, by the way, I'm also a big Second Amendment guy, which none of my listeners would agree with. I, 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 just, I, yeah. I, I have all kinds of contradictions. I mean, the way that I think about it is that, like, you know, if we're getting closer to fascism, do you want less um, guns on the street? I, I, right? I, like, I, I want, all, sort of, I want yeah. all kinds of things, but I don't want to be in control of the Constitution. Right. I, I, I want people who who tell me to tie my shoes to burst into flames. Sure. That's not my right. Sure. Like, I, I, yeah. I, I, I don't want that to be my yeah. right. I, 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 so I, 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 I don't, I don't, I'm very uncomfortable with the, I, with anything that mitigates, uh, like, just people. Oh, like, 
like constitutional. Rights. I just don't. I, I. It's very difficult for me when it gets to this point where we're talking about, and, and part of it is me dating myself to an age when the internet is just a ham radio. It's just a bunch of nerds going, <laughs> "Can you hear me? Can you hear me?" And, and maybe what I need to understand about it is that this is how all of us communicate now. But I almost feel like that makes the case stronger in my mind that kids need a pool hall to hang out in, and if they're being racist and sexist and murderous and horrible and if every kid that does a mass shooting even if literally every single one of them can trace can be traced to have hung out at one pool hall i i i definitely am willing to spend tax money on the fbi investigating that pool <laughs> hall right sure cuz i want to know if that sure. pool hall is is engaging in something is 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 engaging in anything other than freedom? Because you want to save those kids. Ultimately. Well, I want to s- no. I, I fuck those <laughs> fuck those kids. <laughs> It no, I like can't I, wait for those kids to go to the electric chair. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not I, I don't believe in capital put, punishment. Put them in but camps I, 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 I'm, I'm saying, like, like, if you fucking hurt a person and you think it's okay, you're fucking damaged goods. But I, I'm like, and if every person right. who's damaged Damn. goods can trace themselves to Rocky Horror Picture Show, which saved my life, like, I, I don't, I, I don't know, man. Like, I, I, I'm like, where are kids supposed to go? They hang out. They smoke pot behind the gas station on the, in the, in the, in the storm drain, like. Where do you drive them? <laughs> when when you, you, drive you guys them, are like, laughing no, at me, like, the, well, the storm drain. I, I, we, we, yeah. what, explain that. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> do you mean like a huge? I, co- I come storm from drain? a storm heavy state. Okay, yeah. that's you got to do that. All right, it on, sounded don't get like, distracted by that. I'm come not, on, go I mean, ahead. Like, like I'm saying, like. <laughs> Like I, I really, I do not want to be guilty of this concept of oh, boys will be boys. It's just right. a terrorist cell. I, 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 I'm like, I just keep getting hung up on this concept of like, isn't this, like, is this the thing? Like, 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 like this, this, like, it, it's a, it's a fucking IP address where they all, and, and the like, only thing it has in common is that it's the place where these twisted. Dark souls are communicating with each other. Yeah, I and mean, we're and we're our, and we're we want to go like break it, break it, and I just I'm, right. And you're like worried about the crisis that will occur after n- that. No, I'm actually. I you know are what? You, no, I'm not. Wor- <laughs> yeah, I'm not okay. worried about the crisis. You don't give that a shit occur. about these kids. I, <laughs> I, sure. about the I, I believe that the crisis yeah. that will occur afterward will be our absolutely justified punishment for for the fact that that's not the, what we should be doing. Right. But I mean, that's not the solution. Yeah, that's exactly right. It's like a lot of these solution, online solutions are sort of treating the symptom, not the disease, right? So a lot of people were like, you know, a lot of the problems stem on YouTube where the kids just watch YouTube all day and everyone's like, we'll tweak the YouTube algorithm. We'll like kind of talk to the corporation and the corporation will tweak something and they'll fix it. But like, that's not going to solve your fascism problem in America, right? So, I mean, the issue is like, it's not necessary. I mean, bringing kids to pool halls or whatever, like bringing kids to other places, but like, uh, it's more like, there's just so many kids who, because of the way that uh, American society works in the 21st century, is that yeah, it's really hard to have hope in your life and have like, you know, go up like as you described, like go from like, okay, I'm gonna work at school really hard, then I'm gonna uh, work at my career really hard, and then like 20 years later, I'm actually gonna be happy with my career and my life and all of that. Like, so instead, they're like 20 years old and they're like, I'm never gonna have a house. I have a hundred thousand dollars in school debt. Um, and it's, you know, there's all these corporations who are like, if you play World of Warcraft all day, we will, re- like, that's exactly what we want you to do, right? So it's like, those are the things that are creating it. Maybe the most important thing for, like, a 17-year-old kid listening to this right now, who's, like, somewhere in the weird middle, <laughs> is to actually say to them, you know what, forget what anybody is telling you. The actual objective truth is that you have control over your own destiny. You have control over how you feel about the universe. You get to make up your mind tomorrow how you wish people were treated. You get to treat them that way. You, 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 um, like you're going to be told by a thousand people a day for the next twenty years. Um, you're not al- the other side says you're not allowed to do this, and and uh, it, 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 like okay. We don't even know if that's true. 
But what's true right now, kid, is that you definitely have agency. You absolutely right. do. Right. It, 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 when that stops being true, you won't be listening to this anymore. Right. And, and, and you like, 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 be careful because actually by the grace of this great country, you are fully able to be reached by both fascists and socialists, by right. anarchists and rapists. Like, you, um, I just, yeah, th those are the spectrums. That's the spectrum, yeah, the last one um, you, surprised you, me, but okay. You, right. you, you. <laughs> Your science. <laughs> don't let anyone trick you into thinking that they, that, that they're only reaching you through some limited channel. I'm pretty sure right. that part of the big problem right now is that if there's a if there's a phase of thought like it it is getting through to you um and um uh we are counting on you little fella uh fellat little <laughs> little non-binary har harmenian <laughs> like like to recognize that you are somewhere caught on the fence in that verdun that you are that, that, that you need to take advantage of, of those forces and don't let any of them trick you into thinking this is a war about what you're allowed to do. Right. You're allowed to do anything you want. You were born with the freedom of speech. Yeah. You were born with the freedom to be whoever you want. Yeah. The, the, the law used to say you weren't allowed to be gay. Uh, like right. 1998, they let you be gay. Like, it didn't make you not gay in 1997. Right. Like, we will catch up. Right. You don't need to radicalize. You belong yeah. to a country... Well, whatever. I'm not yeah, patriotic. I mean, but yeah, I, don't, uh, don't, don't fucking mass shoot. Don't mass shoot! I have shopping to do. <laughs> I may yeah, wander yeah. into a fucking public place. Don't mass shoot, you little shit bags. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's. I the, ruined um, it. I ruined it. I just don't want them to mass shoot. <laughs> Honestly, that's all I don't. I, I don't care. That's that's where you also don't line, vote. Huh? Don't yeah. vote. Yeah, I mean. You're or do right. vote, do vote, but if you vote against mass shooting, I, I sorry, what were you gonna say? Yeah, you're right. That that I ruined another, it. I ruined it. Too another... much time in that motherfucking drain pipe smoking weed. <laughs> <laughs> That's, There's a st okay. Go ahead. I, Storm drain. Fine. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no please don't apologize. <laughs> um, don't yeah, tell we, me what to do. I, <laughs> <laughs> I've lost it. I've lost what it. Is there is there a, a journalism uh, version of this? Like, it, has this happened? This phenomenon of, of 4 chan and 8 chan has it happened before? Was it like? Was it yellow journalism? Was it Time Magazine in the 20s? Have we um, ever seen anything? I think that the underlying dynamics of, of what fascism is, uh, we see what, what happened with 4chan is repli was replicated in the 1930s, where it was a group of disenfranchised people in the same way who were searching for uh, sort of identity as an excuse for being on the bottom, and then were so angry they wanted this form of power politics. They didn't trust the press in the same way. Was there right? internet film? <laughs> was there internet film? Um, were they able to were they able to spread out like people are spreading out right now? Yeah, I mean, so fa the weird thing about fascism is that it's not old. Your your guest before talked about this, where it's really uh, a result um, of industrialization in the modern world. So it doesn't stretch farther back than that. So it's a response to all of that. It's a okay. response to industrial capitalism, uh, to film and media coming out, and propaganda generate right. That all of that was part of the dynamic. Okay. I mean, the new part is that we have the internet. It's now manifesting on the internet. That's the new part, and sort of the groupthink part where they're all together um, convincing each other of it. That's a, a new part. That's a new internet part of the phenomenon. Um, but for the most part, the, those, so there's that replication. And okay. then the other replication... So this is like our second time where media has been used to get people to, together yeah. in this respect. Yeah. I mean, it's really like you can think of it, if you think of it in a historical sweep... Um, uh, the way that I frame it in my book is that everyone in the late 19th century thought there would be a crisis of capitalism. Uh, it occurred, and instead of what Marx predicted, where we would all become socialists, they became instead, uh, most, many of the countries in Europe became fascist. And, okay. and it was invented. We were like, what the hell is this? And it almost took over the world. It was defeated militarily. But then philosophers at the, afterwards and thinkers who wrote on it said, well, maybe it's not defeated uh, intellectually. Maybe it's just militarily. 
Um, and so now we're at a point where inequality is at the same record highs as it was in the 30s again, and we're seeing the same dynamics again. And so there was sort of this era in the 90s and the 80s where uh, the, there was the end of history era, where they said American capitalism will last forever, that system will last forever. And now we're seeing a return to the dynamics of the 30s where youth culture is about, um, we now again have socialists and communist youth culture fighting on the streets mm -hmm. with fascist youth culture, because the same dynamics are creating it. Um, so that's the replication. Crazy. Yeah, and the other. So we can sort of chart five years from now. So yeah, we yeah, can. So what, yeah. what, World War Two is that where we're at? Um, yeah. Where yeah, are we? <laughs> well, well I mean, fine. no, we're too old. We're not going to get drafted. Hey man, <laughs> I don't fare well no matter what. <laughs> I mean, the, the silver lining there is that uh, what I was saying before about the, their, them being so young and them in this personal personal crisis is that like during the first eight chan shooting the Christchurch one, the other thing that was happening on the boards was that all of these Trump supporters and fascists were breaking away, and they said, well. Maybe I should support Andrew Yang because he gives me a thousand dollars each month, right? So that's like a crazy shift, right? But they're kid, like, and they thought like, oh well, this just addresses some of the problems, right? right. The problem is that I want to join society, right. and they don't know the answer. They're trying to get the answer of YouTube, which is like yeah, the worst some way to get information. Make ever. my A button work. Yeah. Is <laughs> there a reason why women didn't start this sort of a movement? Oh well, I'll feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Thank you, ladies. I appreciate you <laughs> seeing I mean, the this, irony this, in that. Yeah, I mean, like, this, the people always ask me this. They're like, is this, un they're yeah, like, is this uniquely like, masculine? They're like, yeah, look at all these other minority groups. They're not acting like these huge assholes, right? Women are not, and I'm and like, yeah, men are scum. <laughs> like, we're not, like, they're actually, that, you know, that is, in a sense, the answer that we know that for some reason, men, when they feel like losers, act very toxically. That when they get in the situation, there's a toxic response, and they sort of feed into it and become worse. And they own the identity of being a troll, being obnoxious, and then no one wants to defend them, and they get even worse worse and worse and worse. So there is like this new leftist youth movement, which is kind of created by people who uh, were on the alt-right and got out of it, uh, people who were on 4chan and realized what was happening. And there's sort of like this YouTube section where they're like, look, we're going to be compassionate to you. We know what's going on. We want you to come to the left because the left has better solutions. Um, so there are sort of efforts to break it apart, to sort of recognize those underlying dynamics. Because there's sort of a cult mentality. Yeah, that's exactly right. right. And they're bad answers, right? Like the answer, like you think, like how <laughs> they're bad how, answers, right? Like, right? right? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I guess I don't have to have the right at the end. No one's like, yeah. No, I, 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 but, it's just, so it's just a sad thing to end with that punctuation. I mean, I mean like, they're bad answers, right? <laughs> <laughs> like we're all gonna die. I'm like, getting, you get it? Roasted. You get it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, Some guy in the back's like, I, no, I, I'm a I fascist. came out because I was hoping yeah, not, yeah, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you well, wrote a book. I hoped you would have a... Oh, yeah, like I haven't figured it out yet. Yeah, I'm like, really? Yeah, so like in the end, I sort of settled on the idea that fascism was bad. That's that really was going to be my next question. Though. Yeah. What do you think is going to happen? What's your um, unqualified projection? I mean, I know this is what your book is about. Your book is about researching facts and stating things. But as a human being, like, where are you at when you wake up in the morning? Because I know I go, I go up and down, up and down. I, I, I have these like mood swings. I feel like I'm living in the end times right and then i'm um, like i just we, we, we tell me <laughs> tell, tell me how to feel child <laughs> um i do think that uh i think that if the systemic issues are addressed if for example the democrats win uh in the next election if, okay if bernie wins or if someone Who? similar wins and there are social programs implemented uh and things get better for this vast group of marginalized people um, then it will get better. Okay, what How? happens if those things don't happen? Um, right? So, I mean, look, what... What? Asking for a friend. <laughs> okay, yeah, like, well, what happened uh, in Iraq when they, you know, they had millions of young men who were angry and jobless and didn't have... I need yeah. to go set fire to oil wells. <laughs> Yeah, so, you know, you have a vast group of disenfranchised people who think they can never join society, and they're oh, all angry fuck. young men, so right? What a, happens to those we men, honestly, right? Like, or like, like, or hip-hop, huh? Yeah, then you get hip-hop, right? Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, Brandon, yeah, Brandon, uh, stop pushing your agenda. You get... 
Yeah. I was also, a serious I was, uh, issue. I was also disenfranchised. Yeah, yeah. Brandon, yeah. stop it. <laughs> Your people have had enough. <laughs> this is a yeah, real thing can. going on. Yeah, they got... You yeah. can't toast, right. turn it into a music yeah. thing. When the toast that you're trying to yeah. make is too soft. <laughs> and the but this is, yeah. cost this is about much. oppressed. This is, well, this is a discussion about oppressed white people. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My giant anxiety, though. Yeah, you're I mean, the ridiculous it, thing is that, like, I, I, I teach at a HBCU, a historically black college university, and, like, it's full. They oh, you don't know. have to tell me. They, <laughs> oh, HBCU. Yeah, yeah. HBC, it stands for. Head, Which one, by the way? Morgan, 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 Morgan State. I teach like Morgan animation. State, they all out. they all want to be like you. They're all like they're gonna like be crazy. Me? Yeah, they're all like they want to make animation. Told I teach an animation you. department. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I no. tried yeah. to tell college, you. They don't yeah. want to be like me. And, they, and many just, black creators. You never, yeah. Have you but never been I, to the Dan Lives Matter? If I, if, I, <laughs> yeah, if I mention Rick and Morty, that's just the class. Then they're just like, well, what happened to Rick did and Morty? Yeah. <laughs> I, told you to make, did, I told you to put most of your money into Golden Fold toys. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah. but yeah, the, like, you know, they, they it's like, that's not their response, right? They've they've had much more right. difficult lives, and right. they're and they're just like, I'm going to make beautiful art. Like that's their that's you know, their solution. Because it doesn't, um, it's not uh, acceptable to sort of go off on your own. <laughs> like if a motherfucker was like, yeah, where's Daryl been? Like if Daryl was on Four Chan all day, somebody's going to go get him. Yeah, yeah. And be like, hey man, nah, nah. Yeah, they yeah, they like you got that shooter look. <laughs> yeah, on your yeah, face. yeah. They got like a lot more common sense. Yeah, they're just like, it's not wonder, common though. sense. It's it's not common sense. It's sometimes there is this great thing out of, and I hate to say this, but out of oppression comes like a closeness. So there might be this camaraderie that is not some angelic, we're all African. It might be like, we're literally all poor together, and that's the camaraderie that keeps us from getting distance from one another. Yeah, we're on it's the same boat. It's a shitty way to get close, but it does, it does save you in the end. Right, yeah. yeah. I have a terrible spell to cast. Um, <laughs> sick. Uh, I, okay. it, it's 2019, so there's an election coming up, right? 2020, the yeah. president gets elected. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. you have to choose one president, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's only one. So, <laughs> um, Last, it, yeah. doesn't it seem like, like no matter fucking what? Yeah. Civil War. That's, uh, I don't, I mean, is it, is it m more likely a civil war will take place in America than 10 years ago, five years ago? Yes, right? I, I don't know. know. Yeah, America there are a lot of other us. scenarios. I, 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 yeah, I, 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 oh boy. I mean, I think that um, America does have a lot of safeguards, uh, but... You know, I mean, to safe, but guards. to my, you know, to my leftist friends, my my friends of the far left, they're like, they weren't surprised by Trump. They're like, this isn't, this isn't a glitch, right? This is like the Ur America, like the ultimate, like McDonald's Trump. We're all, we're all doomsday like, prepping. Um, yeah, like, give me them thirty day sparklets bottles. I mean, there was like, <laughs> I mean, there was this a uh, uh, Gibbon who wrote. Uh, um, uh, the fall of the Roman Empire. He had this expression where he said, "Like the empire was so strong that it could survive its worst leader, all these worst leaderships. That the structure itself was oh. good enough, right? Oh, we'll be fine." So yeah, so it could be that we have really terrible leaders, and the structure there's enough safeguards there. Yeah, but it's uh, not like there's another country out there with more money that's got half the population of the Earth. That's <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we don't have anything to worry about. We're fine. Uh, we could yeah. we could just have growing pains. Let's have a thousand bad presidents in a row. <laughs> <laughs> just keep it going. I mean, like, part there's of the no reason... such thing as China. <laughs> <laughs> I think the China, Chinese are going to come in. It's half the earth. <laughs> but remember yeah. who holds um, all of our debt? China. Right, but we can default. And what we, we can default? That's and we, not and Brandon. We, and we have done that's that not, before. What? We have defaulted before. <laughs> Wait, we can't. So Brandon, what, what at a certain China, point, they're going to say. That what are they going to do? They're going to send bill collectors? They're going to send. Yes, they're going to send bill collectors. They're not. Yes. They're not. Yes. It's never happened. It's uh, never, never happened. happened. Why are you that's talking? Why, yeah. Like, that's like, why T bills, T bonds. That's why that's yeah, a like guarantee. The, like the also, let me tell you, they have a shit ton of newly imported gold. I love that we all think <laughs> China's just going to hang out and love their money. 
What else are they going to do? Look, China... China well, they're waiting. What, what are you sitting, talking about? They're sitting on a shit wait, ton wait. of their debt, of our debt. It's going to take a lot for them <laughs> to fuck us up. Did China... All right. I promise you. <laughs> I promise you. It's, it's, it, it, there's only... All right. Okay. All right. Okay. I don't look. Who I do don't, you, let me, I don't, let me ask I you this question. Take, so I didn't take let, these let me, classes like the next, the next here's, here's, the, here's the quick. Here's the quick breakdown. A guy comes up to you, borrows ten bucks. Okay. You can't pay that ten back. You know you're not going to pay that ten back, and you got thirty in the in the time that he borrowed that ten. Okay. Who's your new enemy? You got uh, thirty bucks. Wait. Wait, wait, wait! Yeah, you gotta take me that slower. <laughs> and in the meantime, I assume you're China and you're gonna kill me. <laughs> but you got fucking thirty bucks. 20 yeah, which you but can... the when that thirty bucks becomes worth less than eight dollars because worth we've t- done this too many times. Technically, it's worth twenty because you That's owe ten. They're running out the clock. But the guy that's like, owe... hey, China, there, there's that, no clock. What do you want to hang out in the pool hall? Oh, I got I'm a Mr. Pool Master, and we they're like, yes, the, it, we're the yes, people. Yes, you're so good at pool, America. We own the pool table. <laughs> no, we don't own shit. We oh my set, god, we're gonna die. We set the rates. <laughs> they're a half yeah. of the earth. So like the answer is the guy that you owe ten bucks becomes your new enemy. So you start to try and take the, the means of him You're getting another. So confident. Because <laughs> I know the numbers. I want I'm looking, you, I'm you looking know at the numbers. the numbers. I know the numbers. There, this this guy all, knows the numbers. This he's is got all, the numbers. Yeah, he's got. You know all the like numbers. Googleable things. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like all right, difficult. all right, okay. So well, yeah. nothing's gonna happen. He's Everyone, <laughs> wait, wait, really? No, you're not What's, worried about China. Why would I be worried about China? All right, fine. I'm not worried about China. Yeah, don't worry about. You need to worry about. You should worry about Russia. Why would I worry about Russia? They've Russia, never done anything wrong. Russia doesn't yeah, like they're, us. They're spotless. Russia yeah. doesn't like spotless. us if they have more money. Yeah. No. No, okay. I worry about that. Like, 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 no, China. Come on. All right. What? what who are you worried about? I'm Israel. I'm, but good night, folks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is the is the running joke? They're running, a little yeah. chewy. <laughs> oh. um, he meant like I'm, a granola bar. I'm, I'm, I'm worried about it. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm worried about a little bit worried about China. I'm worried a little bit worried about Russia, though. Uh, You're worried about Saudi Arabia. Uh, a little Those bit. Are our I guess I'm mostly worried about the U.S. Probably about Trump. What? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, that's where we are. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. What are we gonna yeah. do? I mean. Well, we never done nothing to nobody. Yeah, that's true. Can I yeah. ask? Can We're just I trying ask, to hang out. Yeah. Can I ask? Are there other versions of 4chan in other countries, or do countries suppress the growth of these sorts of movements? Yes. Yeah, so that's the other part that you asked if it had repeated. Um, I talked to a, a Japanese scholar who's a, a writer, and um, for his book that he's writing, and he told me that it all happened in Japan on two channel before it happened in the U.S. So the exact same dynamics. And so was the election? Was there an election or an outcome that was similar to ours? How did they demonstrate that? Yeah. So I write about this a little bit in my book where it was the same dynamic where they had had sort of a, a, a hacktivist collective and they went leftist and sort of was rebellious but started in a taco culture then they went to the far right um, and the scandal that I wrote about was um, in 2012 or so there was sort of the guy who was running two channel he got it was clear that he was sort of taking money from the traditional conservative party there to delete messages because the board was going to the far right wow. um, and then some weird stuff happened where he got kicked out and that was 2014 that was gamergate so um, at that time uh, the the 15-year-old kid, now in his 20s, Moot, Christopher Mootpool, who was running 4chan, mm-hmm. he got kicked off. He left 4chan. He's he like, sold it, right? He, yeah, he sold, he sold it to the, the owner of 2channel. Okay. Because 2, that guy now had no longer had a chan to run. Is 2channel related in any way to the rapper 2 Chains? If only. Okay. <laughs> Keep going. Yeah, so, um, so there was this musical chair of the chans, uh, musical chairs where... Um, the owner of Two Channel, kicked out of Two Channel because of this far right radicalization, now runs Four Channel. He still runs Four Chan. Uh, Christopher Moot Pool. Now he got hired by Google. Uh, to uh, no one knows. I asked Google. I was like, "Hey, you know, you want to tell me what he does for you? Why you hired him?" And they said, uh, "No." <laughs> so that's what they wrote back. It's yeah. on the behavioral yeah. side. 
Yeah, I mean, I mean, presumably he writes. Uh, he's really good at running, um, making really cool, addictive websites for he young people. He keeps the trains running on time. Yeah. So, um, I mean, he probably. I mean, another component of this is how young people are addicted to YouTube and they get radicalized on YouTube, which is owned by Google. Um, so, hey man. yeah. Just so, give the kids what they want. Um, and then at. Uh, during uh, the Two Channel scandal, who took control of Two Channel was this crazy guy in the Philippines who was a U.S. Army veteran. He was running the servers in the Philippines. He took control of Two Channel, which is very profitable, unlike the rest of the chans. Okay. And then he used that money to buy 8chan during Gamergate. Crazy. And he still runs 8chan. So that's Jim Watkins. That's the guy who last week everyone was like, you have to shut it down. And he's like, no. Um, so he's using the Two Channel money. Uh, to run H, and that's his only profitable enterprise. So, real quick, everyone who's here in the audience tonight, you've been doxxed. <laughs> <laughs> Your um, social security number. Yeah, has they been this dude is jacking a, off right uh, here. He don't care. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God bless they, you. I mean, they don't troll me that much. Maybe now they will. They like they never notice me. They don't. Yeah. They don't uh, seem to love being talked about. No, they really hate it. Um, they, I mean, if I were a woman, I think I'd get a lot of shit from them. But, um, but I gotta say, I gotta uh, when I'm in my pool, yeah, and I always am. And, yeah, so, and my fiance yeah. says, Antifa's fighting the the, the flicky flack. I don't even know who they're fighting. <laughs> um, uh, it, it, the president says Antifa should be a terrorist. <laughs> I'm like, I'm in my pool, and I'm like. That's stupid. <laughs> like, that's dumb. It's fair, fair What does response. it mean, Antifa? Yeah. It means, yeah. I'm Antifa. There, I said it. Yeah, we, uh, come most at me, of bro. anti-fascist. Yeah. Like, I, I'm against yeah. fascism. Yeah. Right, like, yeah. I'm not, I didn't right. sign yeah. anything. I mean, there is a little bit of a distinction there where you want to go out on the street, um, and they want to uh, use any means necessary, right? They're not nonviolent protesters. So that, that is a difference. They want to intimidate those people. Um, and I sympathize with that in, in many degrees. Um, but at the same time, it's, I can see, yeah, I mean, it's, it's fucking weird because yeah. if when TV was being invented, when America was like tuning in Fritz the cat or whatever the fuck the th first image was, Felix or whatever the fucking Fritz is a different thing. Uh, <laughs> but it's like, like, honey, I can't see the Indian, uh, pointing at the compass. I, if the first thing that came over those airwaves was a guy going like, "Hey, uh, hoy, uh, you should distribute your wealth," like, like, like the FCC would be like, "Fuck this, fuck this, fuck this," <laughs> and we wouldn't have that. And and the internet kind of existed in spite of all of that right. oversight. Yes. And, yeah. But it so it. Yeah, I mean, I I just I can't I don't know I mean I can't agree more that. It, th th this is a place where we, we've identified the place where it's the most sizely of, I don't want to <laughs> romanticize that. I don't want to romanticize it like that it, it, because actually I, most sizely is, I think those guys are nice. <laughs> yeah. Most of them were pretty kind. I just, yeah. I, like, I just don't, I can't, I, I can't abide. You're by just the... like reeling from the idea that we know where it is. That like we know this like weird. Yeah, I don't hive understand is. how that ends. That 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 tic tac toe game where we're like, oh, you're here, then we'll we'll yeah, and then they just move somewhere else. If I had an yeah. analogy for that that I could understand, because currently, and I, I understand this is totally Pollyanna, but like, and I, I'm just offering this out to you so that you can say something back to me. It's almost like. Uh, during the reconstruction period, we're like, bed sheets. Got to get rid of bed sheets. Like, For... get their, 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 their hoods are made. Oh, of I see, right. Pillowcases. Like, right. get, get, get no, there gotta, is. There is... Shut down that target yeah. where they're buying those. There is a linens. bit of that. Yes, right. So I think. Okay. Right, well, all right. Well, Brandon, that's no. easy for you to say. God damn it, you love Target. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's treating one of the symptoms, but not not actually the disease. Yes, and that's exactly right. Even, yeah. And even, yeah. might even, yeah, and then yeah, I do that, worry about, yeah, like, that oh, they, you mush it. It's not like, it's not like H&M gets shut down, and then all the people that were there were like, oh, well, now I'm no longer a Nazi, right? They right. go elsewhere. Um, but in terms and of... And they even go, when I was 15 years old, here's my story. I was pretending to be a Nazi for a little bit. I thought I'd toy around with being a Nazi. And then the thing happened. The federal government shut down 8chan. But, and that's when I learned I needed to be racist. 
I mean, the, but the component there is that like HN and the Chans and websites like that, they take a lot of work to maintain. You have to be, you have to have full-time programmers, you have to build it, and you have to constantly rebuild it and maintain it. Oh, this racism hire. got me tired. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't. Every day, it's a new hate. Oh, I can't even come up with names for these people anymore. <laughs> And the server fell down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's that's yeah. a very interesting so, point. So it's something that people have built and maintain, and like a lot of those people are trolls, like Watkins, or they're people who regret it, like the founder of HN. And it's like so it's a little bit who like himself the himself would be chewed, would be ripped apart by his own people because of his disability. Correct? Um, yeah, he because they're not disability. Friendly. Yeah, I mean that's one of those weird where he. Yeah, I mean yeah. that that's certainly a contradiction. Yeah, Isn't that crazy. And he kind of almost tilted to um, the the far right for a little bit. He in two thousand when he was deep in the, he was sort of deep in the incel culture and was r administering some of the sites that had started Gamergate. And he wrote for uh, one of the most famous trolls was a 4chan troll that that then started the Daily Stormer. And the founder of 8chan, Frederick Brennan, he wrote for the Daily Stormer, and his article was like, I am a, um, uh, a disabled supporter of eugenics. He's like, people should... Whoa. Yeah, he's like, people... Because he said that his dad had him to collect the disability checks. So he's like, people should be tested for this disease. God damn. So that was like the darkness of like... So it's like he embodies sort of that idea of like, really people on the bottom well, on these sites. It's kind of... Cool, it's punk rock like that. That joke of uh, what a what a what a what a, what are my dad and cancer? Uh, what's the difference between my dad and cancer? Wait, what what does it go? Ah, uh, shit. God, this is like a what's funny the, podcast. What's the joke? What's the, the joke? Uh, my dad. Wait, fuck. Ah, fuck. Bye. What's the difference between me and cancer? My dad beat cancer. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, no, that's not right. No, that means no, it's not. Right. But All right, I'm whatever, it, I'm whatever. Fucking it up, not it's, to show it's, you. It's, up. it's 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 <laughs> awesome to go dark. It's like it's especially it gives you fucking credit. Yeah. I yeah. mean, the more suicidal you are, it's like fucking like people are like, listen to this guy. He's fucking like he's he's on the edge of the earth. Like t like listen to him. Yeah, and, and uh, yeah. So, uh, I, so the metaphor is like it's like you know they build all this stuff. So it's like someone you know you built your show, you made your show, like you all this creative forces went into making, it, and then someone's like, I want to write for it. Well, it's like, well, who who you get to use it? Why, right? So all of the stuff that someone else built, why are you maintaining it? Why are you building it? Like all of that, like do they get the right to have a chan? Um, I just don't. I just don't understand the right to have a space on the internet. That, is, that that doesn't make any sense to me. I do understand the idea of like, oh, it takes so much money to keep this place alive. Like right. If you found out that Tumblr was only possible because someone kept pumping money into it and they kept taking a loss, you'd be like, wow. Hey, right. did you know this right. about Tumblr? Right. I, I, yeah, that it just seems I don't know. So uh, you're right that part of it is reactionary, where people are like, "We need a solution to this problem," and then everyone on Twitter and all the, the experts are saying they're like, "Well, we just shut down HN. That will get less teens radicalized," which is true, right? It, when they break apart, they have to reform. But yeah, it does not address those systemic underlying problems that create these people in the first place. So you're right, it's like whack-a-mole, where there will be another one. But you, well, actually, what happened is they went to another one. They went yeah. to N-Chan, and N-Chan well, immediately crashed. So they went to 4-Chan to 8-Chan, and they go to 16-Chan. Yeah, right. I don't know if that's but, how the numbers but work. It's but. actually, if you look historically at these sites, it's incredibly, it's only the fluke of Jim Watkins in the Philippines having all the money through 2-Channel that allows 8-Chan to exist. So the next one they went to immediately collapsed. Like the guy that's running that, there's no way. And a ton, and this has happened. It happened like 2006 and 2007, where they're like, "Fortune's not bad enough. We want an even worse one." And then they went to these other ones, and they all collapsed. So it's actually very hard to maintain uh, the chance. So okay, so uh, well, uh, it, 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 we should read your book and find out. Like, like, what, okay, so what is the f money that goes into the antenna that? pumps the, 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 these forums like open because they actually are not just uh, part of the central park of the New York of the internet. Bad metaphor. <laughs> um, the, it, it, the, the, it, takes, it, takes a, it takes a bunch of fucking money to right. force open that part of the internet. Right. And in fact, okay. if normal libertarian free market politics were in play, it wouldn't be profitable. It would shut down. Yeah. So it's an actual fucking political... Yeah. Like, someone has to be passionate to take a loss. 
Yeah, that's and a keep key, right. that beacon yeah. open. And and that still is not to say shut it down. They don't have the right to have it, right. but it's certainly important to know who that person is. Right. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, maybe maybe they leave it open and use it as like a FBI honeypot Why is this or whatever. Open? Right. Why is this yeah. channel? Open? I mean, it's the same where they like they'll go to Discord, right? Which and someone built Discord, which is this chat at, right? And they have to maintain it, and there's a ton of programmers. This isn't a profitable pool hall. So who 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 loves it this much? Yeah. So like you know the people that build these things, they have the right to say like I built it. It's not you. You can go. I mean, you can go learn HTML, right? You can learn. You can code HTML. That's and you where can put free up, market yeah. politics, like yeah, they, like and, and, and right? liberalism it's can intersect like, and go yeah. like, wait, hey, well, yeah. let's follow right. the money. There's nothing. Like, how is this not like, like you can r raise suspicion about people that aren't profiting from something for over ten years yeah. and go like, why are you spending so much money on this? Right. Almost seems like a charity for you. Yeah, I mean, it is. He he's a troll. That's what he he wants to. What's his source people. of income? Two channel. So two channel, because two channel is different. It was the first one. It didn't have images. So without images, uh, the server costs are much lower, which means that it actually is profitable. It's a business model that is profitable. Okay. And two channel also, like 4chan, uh, first in Japan, it was this sort of dark otaku place where the otaku hung, hung out. And then it just became one of the most popular sites in Japan. And it was like deeply influential in the culture. And everyone kind of uses it. And they kind of delight in the anonymity because Je Japanese society is so structured. So it's sort of like similar to 4chan, but it had this big cultural impact. So he, he gets all his money through that. And we think uh -huh. that's how much. Um, that I don't know what the numbers are. Okay. I mean, I like I, I don't know how many. It's got to be yeah. a, a, a burgeoning empire. Um, all right. Well, since tonight, I assume because these people don't like being talked about. Period. Even though we've tried to talk about them objectively, I, I'll, I'll tell you. I, I I jerk off on a mannequin leg. I rub it on my nipple. <laughs> I put, a, put a sharpie pen up my ass. I sexually harassed a coworker. Uh, and I thought we weren't going to talk about that. Uh, is, there, is this uh, is I there a part? Simulated making passionate love is to there a part baby of the podcast in a comedy sketch at the end of 2009. Did we, did we confess everything we did wrong? Is no, that, you don't have to. I'm just, that just I'm what, just protecting myself. That's what I'm happens. Like, I'm like done with this. <laughs> like I can't think of did anything. You forgive him? You can, like whatever. <laughs> I'm, I'm a horrible person. Uh, some people brag, but they, some of these are lies. Uh, don't 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 reelect me as uh, your alderman in 2000, whatever it is. There, I just wanted to cover myself. You yeah. can do whatever you want. Can I ask, uh, before we go, real quick, is yeah. what is the thing that the average person could do? I know this sounds crazy, like it's a, it's a Camp Brockman piece, but is there a way that people protect themselves from being a target of these groups? Um, yeah, I mean, I think um, the best thing is not if, it, if it, they really do uh, target you. you. You can take proactive action. Uh, the target of uh, Gamergate, Zoe Quinn, the main one, she had dedicated a lot of work to what exactly to do. So she has a lot of resources. I would recommend her book okay. for that. Um, Excellent. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's definitely recourse. There, people are more uh, uh, cognizant of now that it happens. Um, but certainly, like, uh, yeah. Um, they pick who they want. There's yeah, really and don't, you know, you, there's a lot of sort of like emotional advice there where you, you know, don't want to overreact. You don't want to try and let it get to you because, I mean, like, you're, they're idiots. They're, and like, oh, yeah. it could, it could put a gun in your mouth. Um, it can, what? <laughs> it can put a gun in your mouth, you said? Uh, yeah, people don't like being told that they're a horrible human being, even yeah, right, by the yeah, worst it, people yeah, in the world. Right. It, it, it can make you want to kill yourself. Yeah, and it's and the internet is full of uh, very, uh, you know, like we're all deep, sensitive souls, so it's like uh, very easy to get upset about stuff that happens on the internet to yeah, anyone. Yeah, they know that. Yeah, right. They know what they're doing. Yeah, and they, so... They love it. Yeah, I mean, they're ultimately very powerless, which is why they do it through the internet. So if yeah. you kind of recognize mm -hmm. that, you can get a handle uh, on it. So your, your book is called... It, 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 it Came From Something Awful. It Came From Something Awful. Uh, look for it at B. Dalton. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the '90s, yeah, like look for it at the B. Dalton in Stranger Things, like in the mall. Uh, uh, just, torrent yeah. it. Uh, uh, yeah, steal it, please. No, I don't, that's not. Uh, thank you so much for coming. I think yeah, I think the you. only thing we have left to do on is a is a rap about um, uh, the uh, internet. Yeah. <laughs> Hear the wicked, wicked rhythm. Yeah.